friend. Are you ready to rodeo? Oh yeah, prepare for cuteness overload. We are live at the first day of Rodeo Houston. Houston Happens starts now. Maggie had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Oh my goodness, this is definitely her first rodeo, Miss Eve. Now here's the thing, it is rodeo season. And of course, I had to go to my most favorite place with my most favorite person at the rodeo. I mean, it's not our first rodeo together, Richie, are we? No, it's not, Maggie. <laughs> Every year I'm like, get me Richie. I need Richie in my life. Good to see you, my friend. You too, you too. How are you? I'm doing well, busy. You know, I've got a little lamb, but she's growing quickly. I know you have lots of little lambs, grandbabies now. Yes, much to be thankful for. It really is. And then look at these. So tell us a little bit about the birthing center and what's been going on. Well, we had a little set of twins yesterday morning, a male and female, a ewe lamb and a ram lamb. Oh, wait, I didn't know. So, wait, the male's a ewe? The female is a ewe. Oh. Oh, a you. Sorry. And Learning. the male is a ram. I had no idea. Yeah, well, it's that's okay, why mama. we're here. <laughs> Thanks, Richie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it is educational, yeah, for sure. Very much so. And this is their mama, Lucy. Lucy, it's okay. We're taking good care of Eve. So how long did it take for her to give birth? How's that work exactly? She was a champ. She did it all on her own. Lick the babies, got them all cleaned up, and textbook. That's what we like. Yeah. You know, let's let Mother Nature do as much as it can all the time. Right. And we're just here to keep an eye on things, you know, to help out when things may go a little sideways, but. Yeah. And luckily, it was a good birth, and there's her little brother, twins. I absolutely love this. And how many animals do you have that are pregnant right now? In the exhibit, we have eight Jersey dairy cows, 11 ewes left to have babies, and we have four sows pregnant. Oh my God. And they're all spaced out about within the next week or so. Some of them will switch out halfway through the show, and some will be here the whole time. Jeez, now, this is in your blood. So tell us about your history with the Rodeo Houston and the birthing center. Oh, I think it's been like 18 years or so, and I'm a dairy farmer by life experience, shall we say. Um, I do sheep and pigs, but uh, well, yeah, we've been blessed enough to have Rodeo invite us back year after year. And like I said, it's about 18 years now, and we have had hundreds and hundreds of babies in the corner of this building over the years. And what's your favorite part about being out here? People. Yeah. You know, honestly, the animals, but we're here to talk to people. So trying to convey to people, let's get some basic animal husbandry, you know, um, what it takes to care for these animals, how important it is for us to know and keep learning and what have you to give our best to them because if there are problems or things go wrong or just basic care, right. um, it's up to us to give them our best. And I think that's what people often forget. The rodeo, they're like, the rides, the concerts, the food, but it's really about the ags, really. Right, right. And we spend so much time here talking to people about animal care right. because that's what they see and that's what they want to ask about right away why are you doing this or that if I walk into a cow pen and turn left instead of right there's a reason for it and it's what I want that cow to do and to be as least intrusive as I can on that animal well I love my time here we're not leaving you yet the show's just getting started is that okay with you girlfriend Oh, now she's quiet. I know, Mama. Lucy, we're going to give her back to you. Don't you worry. Well, if this isn't cuteness overload, I don't know what is. You win the award for cutest animals over here. Speaking of awards, did you watch the SAG Awards? Are you a movie guy? No. I had a feeling. <laughs> but never fear, we're going to fill you. I'm a little cultured individual, <laughs> but I just happened to miss that. And also, I love Richie because he's always brutally honest. That's why we're friends. No BS here, that's for sure. But here he is a look at a recap of the SAG Awards. You ready for that? Okay. Well, this weekend we saw the Independent Spirit Awards and the SAG Awards, which means for the major awards, all that's left is the Oscars and is what we saw this weekend a precursor. Okay. 
Oppenheimer. Unlike the Oscars, there's not a Best Picture category at SAG. Instead, the award is based on an ensemble cast, and that went to Oppenheimer. Thank you for every SAG after a member whose, whose support and whose sacrifice allows us to be standing here better than we were before. But the rest of the SAG categories align pretty well with the Academy. And if you were wondering who might win Best Actor, well, all award season, it's been a face-off between Paul Giamatti from The Holdovers. Don't get me wrong, you have your challenges. You're erratic and belligerent and a gigantic pan in the balls, but you are not your father. And Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. I did my job. I was not in a policy-making position at Los Alamos. I would have done anything I was asked to do. Well, then you would have built the H-bomb too, wouldn't you? At SAG, that honor went to Killian. Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. For the ladies, it's also turning into a head-to-head -head matchup with Lily Gladstone winning Saturday, making things interesting in a category that looked as if it was Emma Stone's to lose. Lily Gladstone, the killers of the flower moon. On the supporting side, Robert Downey Jr. continued his award season dominance. Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer. Divine Joy Randolph. And the same can be said for Divine Joy Randolph, who once again won for her heartfelt role in The Holdovers. I had you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? Oh, I don't know. So now we take a little breather before March 10th when we find out all the big winners on the year at the 96th Annual Academy Awards. With your Entertainment Report, I'm Doug Kolk. Make a date with two and a half men. I think I might be in love with Mia. You've always been in love with you, up. Weeknights at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers? Relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV ever. And because of that, it means even more when you can keep a Grand Cherokee in the family. It's yours now. While still looking forward to the road ahead. During the President's Day sales event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I used to weigh about 300 pounds. I was able to achieve my results, and look at me now. Our laser does not destroy fat cells. We shrink them. When that happens, bam, the results are immediate. Patients can expect to see three to 11 inches in just two weeks, typically half a pound to a pound per visit. Wait a minute, hold on, let me say that again. Half a pound to a pound per visit. So potentially, in about a week, you can lose one of these. This is a five pound fat replica. The best thing about this program is that it offers no downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, no cold. Patients are flocking in and taking advantage of this procedure. If one patient isn't convincing enough, here's another, and another, and another. What are you waiting for? Call now or scan the barcode. Save yourself. You want to save your image? Get the hell off my stage. Weekdays at 2 on CW39 Houston.
Well, can I get a yeehaw? We have dusted off our boots, put on our cowgirl hats. It is time for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And I'm putting the Livestock Show in today's special edition of Houston Happens. This is my friend Annabelle. We're going to be catching up with her in just a minute and some of her friends over here. Girl, you look amazing. And those lashes. Oh, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Oh, my goodness. We're at the birthing center with my good friend, Richie. But, you know, I have my whole posse out here. In fact, Kara, you've been out here all morning. Girl, what are you up to? Oh, Maggie, it has been a blast this morning. I just love rodeo season because there's just always something to do. I'm out here at the carnival as we speak. Earlier, I was with the animals, made me some new animal friends, too. It's all the shopping that's available to us. That's always my favorite, too. And, of course, everyone's prepping for the food. But whether you're looking for the carnival, some good food, or just a great time for the family, you're bound to find a good time here for the rodeo season. Now, if you didn't know, and this is your first time at the Houston Rodeo, there's a lot of history behind this. What you may not have known is that it started back in 1932. $600 million has been dedicated to the Texas youth in education through scholarships, junior show exhibitors, educational program grants, and so much more. The carnival will open today at 10 a.m., so plan to bring the kiddos out today with a variety of rides and carnival food. Yes, that means you'll be able to get your hands on all the delicious turkey legs, funnel cakes, and, of course, those fried Oreos that you could ever dream of. And, of course, what's a rodeo without the entertainment? to get things moving. I know I love to dance. Blake Shelton will be tonight's opening day for entertainment tonight. So first things first, if you're looking to come out today, secure those tickets online early so you can beat the lines. You can get your season passes or get a daily grounds ticket. Next, consider that the rodeo gets very packed, so you'll want to give yourself some time to account for parking to save yourself some nightmares for sure. Parking lots near NRG open at different times but cost $25. Check rodeohouston.com for more information, or you can even save on some time and a little bit of money and catch a ride at the Metro Rail for $1.25 instead. Now, again, I'll be hopping around. Maggie, I know you'll be hopping around and just showing everyone what is in store today for day one. I know I'm having a good time. I'm going to go get into some more shenanigans as well. So be back to you in a bit, Maggie. You ready? Yes, we're moving around a lot over here. Richie, who are we with now? We are with, you know, her real name is Avon. She has a showbiz name here, but she likes her privacy. Her name's <laughs> Avon. She's world famous. Of course, that's why she's at Rodeo Houston. I mean, let's be real. She's from LaGrange, Texas, and she's one of their hand-milking pet cows. Really? She happens to be pregnant this year, and she's up here at Rodeo. Oh, my gosh. You can see her belly. Now, how long is a cow pregnant for? 280, 284 days. We commonly say nine months. Oh, so like us. Oh, just like you. Just like me. Now, how long is her labor, though, usually? Uh, let's say once water breaks, two hours. That's it? It's just like you, isn't it? I guess, yeah. They came out in three pushes. I mean, that's why her head is perfectly shaped. I know. A little dust off my shoulder for that one, for sure. So tell us about a little bit about how this is all going to work. How do you know the signs? Is it just like when a woman goes into labor? How do you know the signs she's about to give birth? Uh, early signs may be her backing off feet and what have you. Um, but really, once labor starts, once that calf moves up in position, that tail gets jacked up. That's a dead giveaway, okay? Because the ligaments on the tail head, she can't hold the tail down. Calves in position from that point, now that may linger around a half a day, up, down, up, down. What's since up, we're there, we're pretty much waiting for the water to break then. It's absolutely. We present the baby calf, right. two front feet and the nose. That's what you want all the time. That's the normal birthing position. Oh, okay. And then they walk pretty much right away, right? They should be up in an hour nursing within two. And you got to think, old instincts, they're herd animals. Right. Baby's got to be up and be with the herd for safety. I didn't even think. See, this is why I love the birthing center. When people come, do they get a chance to talk to you all and learn about all this? And, I, I mean, I'm so lucky I actually get to be here with you. Well, yeah, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. And I always convey, we have interns. Mm -hmm. uh, they're awesome. They help do everything. I want them involved. I'll even let them help me deliver and stuff like that. But conveying the correct information to the public is very important. So I always pass that along and have talking points. And yeah, that's why we're here. We're here to talk. 
We're here to teach. This is what I love. Yes, you're here to teach and to talk. What's the best time to come around the birthing center, would you say? All day. All day. We're here all day. I'm here 24-7. <laughs> he pretty much sleeps in this shack. some odd days. But you love it, right? Oh, yes. Very yeah. much. And your wife's here. I got to see your wife. And yes. it's just really a family affair, and that's what I love. And I can't wait to come back with my little calf, Miss May, and see what's your baby. So when do you think she's about to give birth? Uh, I think her due date is in a couple days. A couple days. Yeah, my dates are scattered around the 29th to the 6th for this first group. All right. Well, good luck, girl. Good luck, honey. Oh, can I pet her? You can. <gasps> can give I get by? Loving. Oh, you need some loving. I know what it's like to just be waiting to give birth, honey. It's not fun, but you sure look good. She didn't even have to get her eyelashes done. <laughs> I'm just saying, best eyelashes ever. So like I said, never a dull moment. I had to kick off rodeo season with my good friend, Richie. That's what I love the most about coming out here are the friends that I've made over the years. And being with these animals, it's truly a beautiful thing and it really centers you too. So thanks for everything with that. Kerrigan, I have to say, thank goodness I can wear my cowgirl hat because it is so gross out, so humid. My hair went flat. Her hair looks good. Uh, yes, it's definitely feeling like Texas out there for sure now, Maggie. And uh, hold on to your hats, in fact, as you step outside uh, later on this afternoon, even this evening. Winds. Temperatures, though, on the warm side and that humidity creeping up for us. We're in the 70s now, warming up into those 80s by this afternoon. Like I said, it's some Texas weather out there here on our Rodeo Tuesday. Going into the evening, back into those 70s we go, but those wind speeds will be breezy by that time frame. Uh, we are seeing our nighttime temperatures now in our temperatures uh, for the rest of uh, the night. If you are planning to be out and about for the concerts, uh, like Shelton kicking things off for Rodeo, we'll have temperatures in the 70s for your commute back home afterwards as well. Wind speeds in the teens and 20s for this afternoon out of the south. Now tomorrow we have a cold front trekking through during the morning time. Check out these gusty winds out of the north on the back side of that. They'll be sticking around throughout our afternoon. So another day where those windy conditions may be a little pesky for our rodeo goers. Hold on to those cowboy hats. Future cast showing cloud cover um, hit or miss for this afternoon. Some partly cloudy skies throughout our two o'clock hour. Going into the nighttime, we do see overcast skies remain for us. Tomorrow morning, a few isolated showers associated with this front as it passes on through. Nothing too widespread by the afternoon. Most of that clears out. It will start to cool down, though, with some cloud cover staying overhead and wind speeds kicking on the back end. Winds stay throughout the area out of the north on Wednesday with some cloud cover in place as well. Going to be a gloomy-ish type of day, a front passing. So it's going to be one of those cold front days where it just kind of looks a little dreary outside but uh, the rodeo shirt will uh, bring the mood back up. Into our Thursday morning, cloud cover overhead once again. Rain chances will be on the lower end for the next several days, uh, but they are present, so we can't completely rule out uh, you getting hit by a raindrop or two if you are out and about fairgrounds. 10-day forecast shows temperatures taking a tumble over the course of the next couple of days after that front passes, and then heading into the weekend, we warm right back up. 70s, then 80s for our Saturday and Sunday. We can honestly looking pretty nice. We remain in the 80s into the beginning of next week and then another uh, dip in our temperatures as we approach the next work week. And CW 39 viewers, listen up. This week you have a chance to win a family four pack of spring break passes to Landry's Amusement Park. You can enter to win by visiting our website CW39.com and clicking on contests. You will find some more information on how to win a one day pass to the downtown aquarium. Plus your pier or the Kima boardwalk. Hey, that sounds like so much fun. You know what's not fun? I just lost my earbud in the hay. I was like, <laughs> oh no, but I was able to find it. Yeah. Oh, good. And then, um, good. Yeah, dumb, dumb blonde moment of the day. I'll call myself out. So I saw my girl over here. I mean, she looks pretty skinny, right? So I was like, Richie, is she pregnant? He's like, oh, uh, it's the birthing center, Maggie. Oh, that's right. They're all pregnant. She just carries a little bit better than my friend over here. But here's the thing. We're going to continue to move around Rodeo Houston. The ag venture continues after the break. Okay, girl. Okay. Chief Meteorologist.
astrologist Adam Kruger is a social media sensation. Millions have viewed his videos. See what the buzz is all about right now. Go to CW39.com forward slash Adam or just scan the QR code on your screen. We're Ram, and when trucks are what you do, you do Truck Month better than anyone else. You do trucks that work harder and play harder. And you do trucks that win by breaking every rule of what a truck should be. So this Truck Month, what you should do is drive a Ram. Trucks are what we do. Get 10% below MSRP for an average of 8400 under MSRP on the purchase of select 2024 Ram Light Duty and Heavy Duty Trucks. We want to be sure about our children's health. The pediatricians at Legacy Community Health get to know each child and family, answering all your health questions and your child's too. From well-child exams to safe and effective vaccines like COVID-19 and flu, getting that picky eater to try more veggies, or helping your high schooler deal with exam stress, Legacy's team is your trusted partner in your child's health and wellness. New patients are welcome at 14 convenient locations. For years, Renew has been celebrating each new year with thousands of patients. Make 2024 your year. Everybody who knows I went through this have all told me, my God, I can't believe how real they look. They're really, really good. Uh, I'm not kidding. They're just fantastic. They say what they mean and the warranties, the guarantees on my teeth. I'm not worried about it. They'll take care of me. Stop waiting for another year to go by. Visit Renew and take advantage of 2024 pricing to get your new dental implant supported anchored teeth. Renew is up to 60% less than many other providers for fixed, removable, beautiful teeth. Renew definitely puts patients first. Love what happened. Just changed my life. It really changed my life, literally, overnight. Renew is growing across the United States. New you this new year at Renew Smiles. Call 281-800-3000 or visit renewsmiles.com. Honoring Black History, we salute Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by acknowledging those he inspired. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astrophysicist and is the director of the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Honoring Black History. This moment honoring Black History is sponsored by the Cochran Law Firm, Texas. Friendship goals. Ooh, that deserves a hip bump. Get the bumping. The neighborhood. Weekdays at 4 and 4:30 on CW39 Houston. Well, howdy y'all. Time flies when you're having fun. We're about at that halfway mark of Houston Happens, but the adventure has just gotten started. I mean, look at this behind me the longhorn it's amazing these horns you guys they can grow to seven feet in width that is a big daddy go big or go home this is just one of the many things that you get to experience here in the ag venture zone and we're going to continue to be making our way back also you know i love to talk about fashion so i have all my rodeo outfits lined up kara how's your rodeo outfit looking well, Maggie, I decided to put on my pink girl cowgirl hat on today, so I had to give all the Barbie vibes today. And then I also have on a shirt that's kind of like tied in the front, so it's really giving cowgirl vibes for sure. <laughs> I love it. In fact, my shirt has a cowgirl on it. So we're going to be talking a little bit more fashion. Also, we want to look good for all of our selfies that we're going to be posting and hashtagging Rodeo Houston. So we have some good skincare coming up, too. So stay tuned for that. The second half hour of Houston Happen starts after the break. Hi, I'm Brandon with Priority House Buyers. And I'm Pat, and we buy property all over Houston. Our family-owned business has been buying houses for cash and fixing up neighborhoods since 2009. We buy fixer-uppers and blower-uppers. Rented or vacant, inherited, foreclosed on, even homes in decent shape. And we'll pay all the closing costs. And there are no commissions. All it takes is a few minutes on the phone to see if our family can help yours. Call 832-821-1000. That's 832-821-1000. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, 
I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Last chance because we're closing our doors for good. Everything must go. The Sleep Shop Superstore Bunk Bed World is closing its doors forever. Go to 5845 North Freeway, Houston. Don't wait because the Sleep Shop Superstore Bunk Bed World liquidation sale is going on right now. Maury, today at 1 on CW39 Houston. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. edition of Houston Happens. We are kicking off Rodeo Houston. I'm so excited. It's all the buzz, I should say. I'm here with my friend Julie. Julie, tell everybody what you do. I'm the chief mission officer here at the Houston Livestock Show, but I get to work um, on educational programming around agriculture and with the tours committee who hosts tours to students in AgVenture here presented by Oxy. It's amazing. We just left the birthing center. Now we're over here. So tell us a little bit about what we're about to go through. Um, this is a hive that you can come through and review. Whoa. And look, we have families. Do you guys like those bees? Yeah, you're a brave cowgirl, honey. Look how cute they are. This is what I love. Beautiful family. I'm going to stay over on the edge. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared. I don't want to scare the children of bees, but this is pretty amazing. Uh-oh. Lou, there's a bird. You know mama does not do birds. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> oh. Well, I want to come introduce you to my friends from Sheldon FFA chapter. They're here to um, give a tour to our students that will be here shortly from the elementary schools. So they can give you some fun facts about bees while we're in here. I love that. All right, so let's go over here. You guys, first of all, we're going to be talking about rodeo fashion. You all look amazing. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. So introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Kim. I'm Cameron. I'm Alejandro. So you guys are doing tours about this. How did you get involved in this and specialize in bees? Well, we had got lucky. We've been always doing bees every time we don't come to the rodeo for tour guiding. We got lucky last year and do chickens, but we're back to bees this year. What do you prefer, chicken or bees? Bees. Bees? Bees, bees, def bees definitely. The bees knees, for sure, right? Oh, I'm here for the puns all the time. Now, I, I'm a little scared of bees, but I love honey. So yeah. do you guys have some fun facts you'd want to share about the bees? Yeah, of course. Um, there are 40 to 45,000 bees in each hive. Whoa. Female bees are the working bees. Oh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh, they fan their wings to cool down the hive and do little dances to, like, show the location of when the food is close. Wait, they, it's a dance? So they do a little round dance <laughs> to show that food is close, and they do the wiggle dance <laughs> when food is far. This is what about you? Uh, there's actually only one queen bee inside of a hive. 
there's we also have hair on our eyes i don't think a lot of people didn't know that we actually have hair on our eyes actually really well we know queen b beyonce let's be real she's the queen of the hive and representing houston what do you guys love the most about rodeo well for me i am big on showing i actually have cattle that i show and I, that's that's really what i'm really interested in um i come to the rodeo almost every year i'm a senior this year it's my last year so I'm just very excited for that. Where are you going to school? Do you know? Um, I plan on going to Sam Houston. That's amazing. Yes. I'm really proud of you. What about you? Um, well, I'm not showing in rodeo right now, but I did show on my school show a goat and got fourth place. That's amazing. That's what about you? What's your um, favorite part of rodeo? I show a pig, so I'm showing that I'm showing here, and I show um, I have a durock that I'm gonna show, and also just interacting with everybody and just the learning experience. Really, I, it's it's really fun. What about I want to say the community that's built here in the rodeo, the entire environment, and just everything. Watching the shows, the bull riding, the what is it? The livestock show. All of it. It just it gives me in a way motivation um, for joining the rodeo in the future again. You guys actually get me so excited because you are shining stars. Thank you so much. You're so well spoken. You have such great demeanor. So I want to come back and I learned a lot of fun facts and I like the dance. Can we do the dance one more time? Of course. Round. And the <laughs> I love it. Thank you, guys. I'm going to come back and visit. And, Julie, thank you so much. This is so much fun. We're going to experience more of Ag Venture around here. Aren't they the greatest? They're the reasons why we're here. They're, exactly. they're awesome students to be able to talk with. Well, thank you for introducing them to me. And, Kerrigan, are you scared of bees? I like these bees for sure. Those bees are pretty cool. I'm not necessarily scared of bees. I just kind of I, yeah. I let them be them, and I mind my own business, just hoping that we can all live in right. a, like a in unison here. <laughs> but Blake Chilton's right performing yeah, tonight. Yeah, he's he in has, harmony. Yes, and he has a song called Honey Bee, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. So uh, I think like a part of that song uh, too is like you, I'll be your your sunny day, I'll be your shady tree, or something like that. So maybe you'll yeah, be Yeah, now looking. we can do their bun, their little dance. Yes, and you can dance while listening to Blake Shelton sing Honey Bee tonight, do the little bee dance. But maybe you won't be necessarily exactly. looking for um, a shady tree today. We'll have some passing clouds passing on through. Uh, temperatures, though, will be on the warmer side. Uh, on the 70s right now, this morning, Pasadena, you're at 76. Pearland, 72. Hobby Airport logging 73 as of now, warming all the way up into those 80s for this afternoon. Wind speeds also start picking up later on today ahead of a front that's bringing some changing weather as we head into tomorrow. So if you don't like the warm temperatures, you don't like the weather today, hold on guys. We're taking a tumble down to the 60s and then 50s for the middle of our week before we rebound back up into the 70s and 80s for the upcoming weekend. So another nice weekend on top if you have plans to maybe hold off on the rodeo until the end of the work week. I don't blame you, but um, the weather then will be pretty nice as well. Rain chances are present, but they are low for the week ahead. 20 to 30 percent over the course of the next couple of days as this cold front passes on through. Pulling up future cast now, you can see that cloud cover building in late today, especially ahead of that front on Wednesday. It will pass mostly dry. The rain chances regarding this cold front are on the lower end. It will mostly be a wind event. That's what you'll notice as it passes on through. It may even wake you up if you're a late riser whenever you uh, um, start seeing the sunrise is whenever generally those winds are going to start picking up for tomorrow morning uh, with the passing of that front. Cloud cover on the backside does stay present throughout the most of our Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, we have temperatures um, warming back up during that time frame from 50s to 70s Friday afternoon, 80s on Saturday afternoon, 80s hold around for our Sunday. And uh, for our next week, we'll be in the 70s and 80s for the start of our week. And then our temperature fluctuation continues for Tuesday and Wednesday as we fall back into those upper 60s for Wednesday afternoon. But overall, not bad weather for the rodeo. I remember last year and a year before, there were some pretty cold nights out there. And and it, it always kind of stinks whenever you have to cover up your cute little rodeo outfits with a big coat. That's right, Kerrigan, and happy trails to you. Okay, of course, I had a meander. I need to get this for May. There's so much I need to get. I had to meander and do a little shopping because in case you didn't know, at Rodeo, there are a lot of vendors out there. I mean, look at this. 
How cute would that be on my May? And she definitely needs a pink cowgirl hat. So when it comes to rodeo, you all have to look at everybody's fashion. I mean, we get ready for this. My daddy shined my boots for me. He does every single year. I got out the turquoise, I got out my hat, and I especially had this. Female designer Kendra Scott, I bought this, and it's her special yellow rose collection. And the bigger the belt buckle, right? It, go big or go home when it comes to that. But that's what I love about Rodeo Houston. If you're not a cowgirl or a cowboy, you get to pretend you're one for a couple of weeks out there. And Kara, I know you have a pink cowgirl hat on, you said. I'm, I'm eyeing some things. What is your favorite part about rodeo fashion? Oh my gosh, Maggie, I love every, that everything is denim and it's bedazzled. And of course, you have like all the pink in the world, which pink is my favorite color. I had to bring out my cowgirl hat this morning. But yeah, like I love seeing everyone just really put their own um, spiel on their own fashion, on rodeo fashion, even if they're not, like you said, a cowgirl, cowboy, you know, they, they put their little spin on it. So it's been good to see. Just found this one. Look at this. It's embroidered. It says, let's rodeo with the ruffles and the bow. Uh, Hefe, my husband, sorry. I'm going to have to do some shopping while at work. I mean, May has to dress the part, right? They have swaddles. They have so much here. But I absolutely love it. And if you're like me, you need your boots clean. My daddy did mine. Don't worry. They also have boot shiners here. It's all a family and all community. That's what I love about rodeo. So make sure you allow yourself plenty of extra time to come on out here. It's nice and air conditioned, especially when it's humid out there. You can enjoy the Ag Center, do some shopping, then get some food, go to the carnival, and then go inside before the concert and the actual rodeo. Now, my skin, I did attempt producer Lou a spray tan. It was a debacle, I'll tell you about that later. So hopefully I'm even toned on air. But we all wanna have good skin and look our best when we're being out here at the rodeo because let's be real, everybody's looking at us. So here are some amazing skin products from Best Reviews. Whether you're in need of a laugh, a beauty hack, or even a gift idea, there's one social media platform that you can usually turn to for inspiration, and that's TikTok. Joining us now with the viral TikTok beauty products under $25 is Jessica Wills. Jess, thanks for joining us. Yes, of course, Olivia. Do you keep up on all the TikTok beauty trends? I don't usually, which means I'm really glad that you're here to give me the lowdown. Yes, we are talking TikTok beauty trends under $25, and the best part is you can shop them all on Amazon. They're having their Amazon Holiday Beauty Haul event right now and best reviews has been keeping an eye on the items that are worth the buy and if you want to shop any of the items that you see here on the screen all you have to do is scan that QR code that you see and as we're talking about them you can shop along with us wonderful so what do we get started with over here Jess yeah first and foremost you got to have the tools to set you up for success so having the right tools is really gonna elevate your skincare game and first and foremost there's an ice roller here so yep. an ice roller you're gonna want to use in the morning when you wake up you're puffy you mm -hmm. want to get rid of that puffiness get rid of the redness so you'll roll the ice roller on your face it gets rid of wrinkles and really just kind of preps your skin to get ready for the day and everything else that you're gonna lay on next product that I love right here is amazing it is a skin spatula and this has a couple of different settings but what you're gonna do is wet your face or put on an oil and then you're gonna use that spatula and it's really gonna get in there get off all the dead skin cells Ooh. get out all the blackheads all the nasty stuff that you <laughs> want out of your pores it's gonna do that and uh, this exfoliating mask is gonna do the exact same thing you're going to want to slosh away all of the dead skin cells, um, cells to kind of get your skin looking nice, soft, and prepped. And these are so nice, too, especially for people like us. We're on TV. We need to have that refresh with our skin. Yes. And so do celebrities. Absolutely. They have some picks for us today. They have some picks, too. Yes. Ashley Graham is raving about this Revlon uh, oil blotter. And it's a little on-the-go stick. I love that you can just take it with you, put it in your purse, take it anywhere that you're going. And it's any time that you need a little touch-up, soaking up the oil, you can just take Take it out, dab it, and you actually tried this a little bit, so how do you think that that I did? Went? I did use this actually today ahead of putting on my makeup, and it worked really well. I'll say I don't have super oily skin, so this is going to be very nice for somebody who has that normal to oily skin, a little bit more on the oily side, but I did love it. It helps the prep for my makeup amazingly. Yeah. Another celeb that has a favorite pick is Emily Ratajkowski. This is the Casa Rex. It's snail mucin, and Ooh. yeah, so it is a snail secretion. You put it on your face, and it's really 
really going to hydrate you, plump up those fine lines and wrinkles. People are raving about this product, and Emily Ratajkowski has beautiful skin, so if it's really good does. for her, I think it's good for me. <laughs> On TikTok, Head to Toe Beauty, we're talking lips here. This is a lip mask from Laneige, and this mask, this lip mask is so hydrating. You can put it on at nighttime. A lot of people like to put chapstick or Vaseline. I feel like this is double duty doing, you know, the most for your lips. If you put it on at night, you wake up in the morning with plump, soft, juicy lips, and you can even use it throughout the day as well to keep your lips hydrated um, over a little bit of lipstick. You know, lipstick yes. sometimes is drying, so you can put this on instant hydration and you get those beautiful plump lips. And the, and the key words there, beautiful, soft, plump lips, everybody. My ladies, I know we all want those. We said head to toe. Oh, yep, This go. is a foot mask. And I don't know if you saw this on TikTok, but this um, had some of the craziest videos. What you do is you put this on for about an hour. And then after the next week to two, your skin will just start flaking off. So you can imagine cool. all the skin <laughs> sloshing off of people's feet and the crazy videos that people were putting on TikTok. Yes. So people loved this, especially if playing footsies, everybody, with your boo thing. So that's actually good for the men and the women. Yes. And yes. speaking of the men, No Shave November is yeah. coming up quick. No Shave November is coming up. <laughs> so, you know, if you can't shave, maybe you still need to trim a little bit, keep everything a little bit tidy. This is the Philips Norelco all-in-one trimmer. Um, there's so many different attachments, about 13 different attachments, so you can really get the level that you want to keep your beard as you're growing it for No Shave November. So this is a good way to maintain that scrub with No Shave November. These are amazing top beauty picks for under $25. Yeah, the best part about it, under $25. These are great TikTok trends. And thank you again to our friends over at Best Reviews for sending us these picks. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jess, for joining us today. Of course. If you'd like more on these TikTok trends and others, just head to bestreviews.com or scan the QR code on your screen. are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Did you ever look at your house and think it just might be time for a change? Well, right now at National Floors Direct, we'll help you change for just $1,088. We'll give you three full rooms of carpeting, next day installation, padding, everything, all for just $1,088. Three rooms, no hidden extras. Now that's the kind of change everyone can afford and no interest for one year. Call National Floors Direct, 888-400-FLOOR. Get three rooms of carpeting for just $1,088. We'll bring the store to your door. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I used to weigh about 300 pounds. I was able to achieve my results and look at me now. Our laser does not destroy fat cells. We shrink them. When that happens, bam, the results are immediate. Patients can expect to see three to 11 inches in just two weeks, typically half a pound to a pound per visit. Wait a minute, hold on, let me say that again. Half a pound to a pound per visit. So potentially in about a week, you can lose one of these. This is a five pound fat replica. The best thing about this program is that it offers no downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, no cold. Patients are flocking in and taking advantage of this procedure. If one patient isn't convincing enough, here's another, and another, and another. What are you waiting for? Call now or scan the barcode. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night? Always giving you and your family peace of mind. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not gonna be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Join today for less than $5 a month. We'll waive the membership admission fee. And as a special bonus, you'll receive a free one-year membership for two additional eligible family members and a $25 Visa gift card. That's a combined value of up to $174 for only $59 for an annual membership. Don't wait another second. Call to join AAA right now. Quite the ag 
adventure out here at Rodeo Houston. Can you believe that rodeo season is already here? It's officially the first day. Of course, we had to kick it off, and now we're about to have some fun on the farm. So come on, let's see what they have to offer. I was told you all that they have some goats. Now, in case you didn't know this fun fact about me, I am the three time goat milking champion. That's right. I retired gracefully after I have my three trophies, but yes, you never know what you're going to see out here. This is amazing. They have all the crops, they have the animals, and they have some amazing people. So introduce yourself to everybody. Hi there. My name is Brett Massoni. I'm the chairman of Special Attractions Committee, and welcome to Fun on the Farm. Okay. It's sure to be fun. So tell us a little bit about what we can experience. So Fun on a Farm is a free exhibit for the kids and parents. They love it too. So they get to come through and learn about how a farm works. Mm -hmm. So they get to get, they'll get a basket and then they will collect all the items as they move through here. So they'll go through a, they'll plant seeds. They'll run through a sheep barn. They'll go uh, feed chickens. Mm -hmm. They'll get to play with some goats. Uh, and at the very end, they take all their items and they sell it back to a store. We give them a dollar, and then they get to go into the store and buy a snack. Oh, my gosh. And as soon as they're done, most of the kids run out and come right back around and go again. I would want to. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's like a museum that you get to experience. It is, yeah. It's fantastic. And then in the middle, we have one of our highlights, which is the uh, Goat Mountain, yeah. uh, which is uh, supplied by Swede Farms, uh, our partner. And we love that. They'll come out during the day and let the goats out and let the kids pet them and hold them. It's, it's a great deal. Why is it so important for kids to learn the operations of a farm? Well, I think farms are, you know, they get hit pretty hard. The, it's kind of a, maybe a, I don't want to say a dying breed, but yeah. a lot of these kids have never seen anything like this. Right. They've never seen a sheep, and it gives them an experience to do this. We have a day when all the special needs kids come out, wow. and they get to experience this, and it's really great for them. It's really amazing, and that it's for everybody. That's what I love about Rodeo Houston, is it brings us all together. Exactly, exactly. You know, we've got, uh, not just us, there's 500 people on this committee, but there's 35 thousand volunteers that work at this rodeo. That's amazing. How long have you been volunteering? This is my 15th year. 15th year. What got you involved and why would you encourage others to get involved? Well, uh, when I moved to Houston back in the day, uh, I had a friend of mine that got me involved with this. Uh, I hadn't been involved with college rodeo back in college, so mm -hmm. I kind of want to continue that and here I am. That's amazing. What's your favorite part about rodeo Houston? Oh my gosh. Uh, a lot of people say the last day when it's over because it's hard work. 20 days yeah. we'll be out here. But no, every day you meet different people, uh, but the smiling faces of the kids, that's probably the best part. That's what I love. Yeah. It's about the kids. So I'm going to be a kid at heart, and I want to scope it out. I have a 16-month-old, and I'm going to bring her out here Fantastic. for her first rodeo. I'm so excited. But we have more on that to come. I have to say, I don't know about you this morning, traffic getting here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, welcome to Houston. Right? Welcome to Houston. I was like, 16 is not my friend. Neither Neither is Fannin and neither is the Metro Rail, even though we encourage you all to ride the Metro to yes, get here. It's yes, a lot easier. Yes, yes. But uh, Kerrigan, can you please help a cowgirl out? I'm out here live all this week. What is the best way and what closures are there when it comes to Rodeo Houston? Oh man, if you could just teleport, that would be the best way, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Not have to worry about I need a trying. flying horse like Beyonce. Exactly. <laughs> when pigs fly, when pigs fly. <laughs> we won't have traffic here in Houston. So let's get to our uh, camera on 610 South Loop at uh, South Main right now. Not all too terrible for this time of the morning. You can see uh, this is a surrounding energy stadium where the rodeo will be taking place today where Maggie is this morning. So uh, both east and westbound lanes in this part of town, not all too bad. Now the closer that you get to the event, that's where we start to see more of that congestion taking place. Other parts of town this morning are in fact moving slow. The West Loop, for instance, uh, seeing its typical slowdowns and 45 has a big accident that has been reported. You can see that red building in just inside of 249. But I want to focus on some road closure surrounding NRG Park. Uh, you have Kirby Drive here. The roads highlighted in purple are the ones that you will not be able to pass on because of the rodeo activities taking place today. So just expect a little bit of chaos to ensue if you're trying to navigate around uh, that part of town. Highly suggest Metro Rideshare if you want to get to and from the rodeo as parking could be a bit of an issue. Meanwhile, along the South Loop, we are seeing that slowdown developing from Kirby out to Fannin. 
Lane. Speeds there for those eastbound lanes are about 18 miles per hour. So we're going to leave you with this view one more time of the South Loop at South Main. Again, it doesn't look too bad right here, but the closer you get to the site of the rodeo, we will expect more cars on the roadway. And especially for tonight with those big concerts on the way, that evening traffic could be, uh, could be something now, Maggie. I know. Oh my goat. That's all we have to say when it comes to the traffic. I want to be this guy. My little friend Billy over here. I mean, this is the life. Goat Mountain, just perched up on a mountain, sunning yourself. It's a gorgeous day here in Houston. We are ready to rodeo, and we're going to have some more fun on the farm. That's after the break. When it comes to outdoor furniture, why choose rooms to go patio? Because as America's largest independent furniture company, we have incredible buying power. And with the power to buy comes the power to save. And you know what that means for you. High quality furniture without the high price tag. It's what makes rooms to go patio so special. Great style, affordable prices, and an amazing selection. Experience the power of rooms to go patio for yourself. Shop a showroom near you today. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis knee pain centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. I was driving home from church and a drunk driver smashed into my car and I was really scared because I had never been in an accident like that before. I'm really glad that I called your Mandler because I was able to get in a car, have my medical expenses covered. I would definitely recommend calling Jim Adler just because it was so convenient, it was so easy. They take care of everything. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and you can count on me to fight for you. Call today, 713-777-4000. The Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV ever. And because of that, it means even more when you can keep a Grand Cherokee in the family. It's yours now. While still looking forward to the road ahead. During the President's Day sales event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Sheldon and Missy face off in <gasps> Book Smarts versus Street Smarts. I'm not feeling so good. Oh, biohazard! Biohazard! Young Sheldon, tonight at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. Well, before we continue to have some more fun on the farm, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And listen, I've been hard at work out here on the farm and had to make sure that I got some of my crops. I mean, we're now at the farmer's market with my friend Brett. That's correct, yeah. So this is, once they finish, they've made their round through the farm. They've collected all their items. They come here and then they sell these items back to the market. Look at this carrot, and beautiful. We give the kids a chance to place them in the baskets. And when they're done, we give them a dollar that they will go use to buy a snack in the store. This is really neat. And then I saw like a sheep over here. Tell us uh, what else we can experience. Yeah, so there's there's a sheep barn so they can touch the wool of a real sh of a sheep. We have a couple of real sheep out here. Before that's the hen house where they get to see the chickens laying eggs. Uh, and then the dairy barn, which is where the kids always ask, where does chocolate milk come from? That's always <laughs> the best thing. I love it. <laughs> and then the first thing they get to do is they get to plant seeds uh, and pick up vegetables. I love this. I was telling you I'm a mom now. To, so to see the 
you know, through children's eyes. It's yes. really spectacular. This is what it's all about, and also scholarships. It is, it is. It's uh, Even though we don't raise any money here as a committee, uh, but we we really help the kids, and they we, we hope they get excited about being at the rodeo. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see as, as they'll come back as they're older, and I say, man, I remember coming here. I love this place. And even the parents, same thing. Yeah, it sticks with you. There's moments like these that you'll take with you forever, and that's what is the beauty in Rodeo Houston. And to think it's just getting started, who are you looking forward to seeing most when it comes to the entertainment lineup? Oh, my gosh. Uh, 50 Cent. Oh. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but go. he only has that day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. That's happening on Friday. I like where you're at. There can you drop go. it like it's hot, cowboy? We can. We can. No <laughs> problem. Yeah. Now, what about the food? What do you suggest we have to get, especially when it comes to fried food? Fried food. Uh, well, one of my favorites is the skillet back over here. These huge skillets, they make these breakfast burritos. Mm. And inside NRG Center here is a place called Cobbler's. Uh, cobbler Time, I think it is. They have the best cobbler and ice cream. You got to have that. I'm a sucker for cobbler, oh, especially yeah. when it's warm and then the ice cream melts. Our belt buckles, we're going to have to loosen them. A couple <laughs> notches by the end. Exactly. Well, I love it. And when is this open for everybody so we can bring the kiddos out? So we are open every day from 10 to 7. Okay. And weather permitting. And sometimes if it's really crowded, they may keep it open maybe an extra 30 minutes or an hour or so. But, uh, 10 to 7. All right. Well, I'm going to be back out here. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you and your hospitality and happy rodeo. I can't believe it. So we have officially kicked off Rodeo Houston. The gates are about to open. I know that we are all so excited about this. I'm going to be out here throughout the entire week. Tomorrow is Armed Forces Appreciation Day. I have to say it is one of my favorite days. I get on the line and I get to serve and thank all of our troops and their family members. So it's really special. Stay tuned for that. Houston Happens is taking the show on the road to Rodeo Houston all this week. In the meantime, bye, y'all. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. Bye for now, y'all.